Our next court says from Jack Kipper, very warm work. Brian The high seas. It's hard to tell on the high seas what lies beneath. It's hard to tell on the high seas what lies beyond. It's hard to tell on the high seas what lies. This one is called the photographer. Uh, it's for uh, Jerry Andrews. He's had in the past couple of weeks. He's had some photographs of old Limerick and so on from the Limerick Theatre, and were inspired by his collection. Photographer. A lifetime still, capturing stills of lifetimes, silent, introverted glances snapped in windows, framed unnoticed, within captured from without, across the plane of two existences, pensive, inaudible clicks capture. Translucent, the spectral form is boxed, in time, the body too will follow. For now, the sliver clipped is of no consequence, but in time, all that remains. A little on the lighter side. A good book. Thrust into the crisp, virginal opening of the new brown paper bag, I take possession, refold it more lovingly, collect my receipt, change and leave the shop. In my cupped hand, cherished, it hangs by my side as I walk, or close next to my heart when ruffians are near. Ruffians are near. At home I sit and, and score my nail around the edges of its degrading special offer round label and begin to prize the white sticky underbelly from the pictorial laminate of its designer cover. Progress is slow but it lovingly responds to the delicate scythe of the one remaining corner on my well-bitten nails. <laughs> With forefinger and thumb, I pinch to grip the first rise of its white edge, and keeping the unfolding low, begin the unpeeling roll, watching its opening circumference spread, first to half moon, then eclipsing the half unseen beneath the wide fat girth of my peeling <coughs> thumb. It's here that danger lurks, lurks where sight unseen a giddy hand can pull too fast and sure enough I hear my cover scream. I cannot bear to look and quickly press the label back. Who knows, it may be fear that made that sound. Tis if a sticking plaster had been pulled from the center of its pubic hair by an inattentive hairy-handed nurse on the 14th hour of her 15 hour day, bossed by a bitchy matron on minimum pay. <laughs> When I return and start again, it peels right past the screaming mark. No sound is made. I sigh and lift it clear and check my cover laminate. No pulled plaster patch is seen. No pubic hair is lost. Perhaps the scream unconsciously was mine. Then I check for sticky gum and haw upon its face and with my elbow rub to see the shine come up like all the rest. It's perfect now. Tomorrow I may read it but I will always treasure the way the label peeled without a mark, surely a sign of a good book. <laughs>